The Cooper STT Pro and the BF Goodrich KM3 are both highly capable mud train tires that feature robust lugs and deep biters. Despite their impressive off-road capabilities, they perform well on pavements and provide a balanced overall performance. While there may be some minor differences between the two, you can't go wrong with either one of them as they are both really well-rounded choices. Let's start things off with their designs. The Cooper STT Pro is designed with three prominent ribs of equal sizes, each rendering aggressive thread features such as offset sides, in-groove longitudinal notches and sawtooth edges, providing excellent traction and stability on smooth roads. Additionally, some selected blocks also feature wave-like siping. In contrast, the BF Goodrich KM3 has a more straightforward design with lugs that are only equipped with thick slits and minimal notches on the shoulders. Though like the Cooper STT Pro, its lugs are also arranged laterally, with the central ones appearing as extensions of the shoulder blocks separated by longitudinal grooves. So, you still get very efficient self-cleaning abilities on this tire as well. And helping do that are its dual stone ejectors, where the triangular ones are placed on the outer thread voids, and the conventional ones are seen between the shoulder lugs just like its competitor. Now that we have seen the thread of both tires, let's take a look at how both of these perform on highways. Despite both being mud terrain tires, the BF Goodrich KM3 performs better compared to its counterpart. This is due to its closed central thread voids which results in shorter braking distances. Additionally, the KM3 features a lighter nylon cap ply and reinforced foundations combined with shallower thread depth and all these features keep its lugs firm enough even though the tire has a softer overall thread composition. With reduced flexing of the lugs, the tire not only provides superior steering response, but you also get a better fuel economy as energy is not wasted into the bending of the blocks and instead is consumed in rolling the tire as a whole. On the other hand, the Cooper STT Pro tends to have a bit more resistance when turning initially and with a little more effort, the tire suddenly responds and that leads to oversteering. This results in a larger delay compared to KM3. Moreover, talking about wet traction, although both tires are really lacking, the softer compound of KM3 still provides better flexing to the sides and so they are able to wipe water away much more effectively. Though these sides are better optimized for winter performance, let's talk about that. Although both tires are not three-peak mountain snowflake rated, the BF Goodrich KM3 still provides better traction on snowy terrains. Moreover, unlike its competitor, the tire also supplies with much better thermal adaptive rubber, so its slits stay malleable in grabbing the particles on the ground and making snow-to-snow -snow contact with them. Basically, snow on snow generates greater friction compared to rubber to snow contact. This is due to the interlocking design of the snowflakes, which tend to stick together. Hence, we have a term called snowball effect. That's why the BF Goodrich KM3 demonstrates superior performance on snow due to its effective bite that provide better snow gripping capabilities. In comparison, the Cooper STD Pro, although offers more biters and snow vices on shoulders, their limited flexibility fails to deliver comparable results. 
when it comes to off-road performance, both tires offer exceptional capabilities compared to other mud terrain tires. Let's talk about Cooper STT Pro first. So this tire offers an impressive combination of directional and lateral traction thanks to its numerous biting edges in all directions. While its sidewall lugs are not as pliable, they still have the ability to flex and provide remarkable climbing capabilities when operated with lowered air pressure. On the other hand, the BF Goodrich GM3 with its limited biting edges may not perform as well on rocky terrains. The tire shines on sand, no doubt about that. This tire has smoother outer edges that are unlikely to dig and its sidewall lugs spread out over a larger surface area with lowered air pressure. This basically provides a larger contact patch with the ground for exceptional flotation abilities, which is very essential on sand if you don't want to get stuck. Other than this, both tires perform similarly on muddy terrains, where their wide lateral grooves function as paddles and the outer staggered shoulders and sidewall lugs provide the necessary scooping to extract the tire even when it's deeply entrenched in mud. Basically, on loose ground, there are two main things, faster evacuation and paddling. That's why paddle and balloon tires do so great on this terrain. And with both of these mud train tires having a very voided structure combined with lateral orientation of lugs, you get a great combination of paddling and escaping of the mud. Lastly, let's talk about tire sizes and see all the specs they have. The Cooper STD Pro comes in total of 49 sizes in 15 to 22 inches, whereas the BF Goodrich GM3 features 56 total sizes in 14 to 22 inches rim diameters. They all have the following specs. So, what do you think? Do tell in the comments. And please make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also visit CompareTheTire.com to check out all the other comparisons including this one. Till next time.